dream, okay, to own a little place in the countryside. And it became my dream when she told me about it every day for 10 years. <laughs> and recently, I bought a little place in the countryside for us, beautiful little place. It's very remote, very isolated, very private, rolling hills. It's, it's surrounded by a farm. It's not our farm, but it's just lovely. We didn't tell the children we were getting it. It was the most magical day when we first moved in. We were standing outside, all of us, my children running around in the fields. They couldn't believe it, giggling, and the sun going down, and my wife and I holding hands going, we did it. It's amazing. I'm so happy. And tears. It was beautiful. And lovely little animals, little birds, because you don't see lice birds in London, you know. In London we have pigeons, sort of suicidal pigeons. Sort of come in front of the car, just look at you, kill me, end my life, it's not worth it. They just smile for the last second, I don't even have the guts to end it! These multicoloured birds coming out of the woods, like they were welcoming us to the country, making lovely noises. Like they were saying, hello, welcome, thank you, Lord. thank you for coming. The sun went down completely. Absolute total darkness. Pitch black, terrified. We were both looked at where we thought we were. We were. Sorry, are you there? I can't even see you. We should go to London. We can't do this, can we? We can't do this. Where are the children? Children! And it was like all those lovely daytime animals were instantly replaced by the night shift animals. Noises from birds I'd never heard before. Sinister sounds. Come on, come on, come on. Googled what bird sounds like a child screaming in the woods. Seriously. It was just this. My whole family holding hands in a 360, edging to where we hoped the house was. They make this vile sort of, like they're vomiting violently, 